Hi, I'm Chip Lasky with Tactical Night Vision Company, and I'm here with Trent Zimmer from Unity Tactical, and uh, we're at the 2015 SHOT Show to show you some of the new products from TNVC and Unity. This year, we've got some really cool new stuff from OpsCore. Uh, that's pretty much a household name in this industry, but uh, they're actually now getting on board with the uh, wolf gray color, which has been very popular in the, uh, the tactical law enforcement community, as well as uh, this color was um, made for the West Coast NSW teams, and they are now bringing this out for the commercial market. So this is, uh, as you can see, the, the gray with the black, and uh, they're going to be starting to release the Lux liners, which have become very, very popular in the ballistic helmets, in the carbon helmets, and the base jumps as well, so the more affordable helmets for the guys that don't necessarily need ballistic protection. Another new exciting product that OpsCore is bringing out this year is the Leth helmet. Leth is law enforcement tactical helmet. So basically this looks like a standard Mitch helmet with some of the OpsCore upgrades, but underneath it's got a built-in slide down ballistic visor. It's basically the same ballistic coverage um, or ballistic protection as a standard iPro. So uh, shotgun pellets and uh, light frag, but it actually, as you can see, is going to cover a larger portion of the face and go down to the, the bottom of the nose. So it also gives you the wraparound protection, and uh, this would be very good for guys that are more exposed on an entry team uh, or possibly up in a gun truck situation in a Bearcat or something like that. So we also have some, uh, some new products here that Unity Tactical has been working on, and uh, some of them in conjunction with us, and uh, Trent is here to talk about that. So I'm going to pass this off to him. Thank you, Chip. Uh, Trent from Unity here. The first thing I'd like to talk about is our knuckle mount. And this is a modular mount for OpsCore and Team Wendy helmets. And it has two fusion interfaces on it. It allows you to mount a wide array of accessories from lights to cameras uh, and just about anything you want to mount. It's fusion compatible, so it works with all of our fusion accessories as well as direct compatibility for scout lights as well. It's going to come in flat dark earth and black as well. This is the Team Wendy version. It utilizes their quick disconnect and allows you to pop it on and off so if you need to remove it quickly. It also has direct compatibility with the Princeton Tech MPLS series uh, lights as well. So with just a quick adapter there, you can now utilize that. So it's really configurable. It has adjustable breakaway and full three axis articulation so you can set the light and leave it just anywhere you need it. The last really neat feature about it is it utilizes the Wilcox uh, lanyard. So if it does break away, it won't, uh, you won't lose it and you'll be able to retrieve it. Next thing I'd like to talk about uh, are both night vision accessories. Uh, they're GoPro mounts for PVS 14s and also dual tube systems. This is a Sentinel system. This is a handheld version of it. Uh, we're utilizing the GoPro with the LCD on the back so you can see what you're filming. It's got a fusion interface on the side so you can illuminate it in very, very low light conditions. And it takes really, really incredible video. Uh, if you get a chance to stop by the booth, you can see some of the video on display at TNVC there. The last thing I'd like to talk about is the through night vision recording device. So this is mounted on a pair of dual tube Sentinels. And we're utilizing the Wilcox Amber Prism and this allows you to both see through the night vision and record at the same time, which is uh, really pretty cool. Uh, GoPro functionality, so if you already have a GoPro camera, this is a GoPro Hero 3 Black Edition. It'll work with it, and you can take it off and still use the camera. So it's not a dedicated system, but it's going to be a pretty low-cost way to record night vision. You also don't have to have a secondary night vision device if you want to go out and hunt, uh, or if you're doing shooting at all, you can see straight through it. From the tactical application, what's also really nice about this setup is that you're really staying within the footprint of the goggles. So with the GoPro, uh, which is going to be hanging off the side, it's still staying flush with the, uh, with, with the rear eyepiece of the goggles. So you're not really losing that peripheral view. So I know from this distance it looks a little bit big on, uh, on camera, but in real life it's, it's pretty slim. And we've got some through night vision footage as well at the TNVC booth, and it'll be posted online as well. You can take a look at it. So uh, I think that's all we have. Chip, thank you very much. Thank you, Trent. Thanks for watching. Hi, this is Chip with Tactical Night Vision Company at the 2015 SHOT Show, and I'm going to talk to you about some of the new weapon-related night vision and thermal products that we're going to be bringing to market this year. 
Starting off, uh, we're working pretty heavily this year with Night Optics USA. Uh, they are a commercial uh, manufacturer of night vision scopes, and they've got a very wide array of uh, long range and shorter range night vision scopes for the hog hunter and the law enforcement market. Uh, we're pretty excited about some of these scopes. They uh, have great lenses and some of them are going to be able to reach up to some pretty high caliber weapon systems. Next, we have the new APPL C. The APPL is the uh, ANPEQ-15. It's the standard issue laser module for all four branches of the U.S. military. And uh, InSight technology from L3 is actually, for the first time, bringing this into an iSafe commercially available system. So it is the exact same unit as what the Warfighter has. It just has uh, iSafe diodes. Um, one of the gems of the system, though, is that it has an actual laser-based infrared illuminator. Most infrared illuminators that are available on the commercial market are LED-based, which means that it's going to give you a pretty big downrange bright signature. Uh, Laser-based illuminators, which are generally restricted, are going to give you almost no signature downrange, which is why the warfighter and the law enforcement professional tend to use them. Um, for the first time, we're going to see an actual laser-based IR illuminator, and it's a 3 milliwatt illuminator, so at its core, it is a little bit uh, past what's considered eye safe by the FDA, but it's a fixed focus system, so you can't adjust the, uh, the focus of this illuminator, but what that does is that in the actual wide beam, at any given point of measurement, it's going to be under one milliwatt, so it is going to indeed be eye safe, yet it's going to get you out to 125 to 150 yards of usable IR illumination. Uh, the other features are you've got a built-in IR laser and visible laser. It's a red visible pointer. Um, these are great units, and uh, they're low profile. They're battle-tested, um, high-density polymer construction. We just can't say enough good things about the, uh, the civilian legal PEC-15. Next, we have from IR Defense Corporation the brand-new IR Patrol. These are phenomenally versatile systems. Uh, using a BAE Systems Micro IR 12 micron core, which basically means that you're gonna be able to zoom in quite a bit more than a standard 17 micron core, and you're gonna retain more of your resolution. So instead of zooming in digitally and getting uh, your, your resolution cut by half, it's gonna be more like getting it cut by a quarter. So you can actually get some pretty high uh, resolution um, digitally magnified images. This one has the detachable afocal lens, so you can actually get magnification at the lens, so it's true magnification, and then you can get the digital magnification on top of that. One of the uh, great things about the versatility of this system is you can use it, obviously, as a small handheld device. It's got um, machined in 1913 pick rails, so you can attach lasers or lights or things like that. So if you're the only guy out there, you can point things out to your buddies that necessarily don't ha or don't necessarily have thermal. Um, but uh, it's got these handy dandy little joystick down here controls, which are some of the easiest to navigate controls of any thermal that I've ever seen. Um, these units are just they're incredible. You literally have to see them to believe them. So stop by the booth in uh, 6502 and you'll be able to check them out. Not only are they going to be handheld, but weapon mounted as well. Here we see it in front of a, uh, an Elk Inspector DR. Uh, they can be used as a clip-on site or a dedicated site with an integral reticle. Um, one of the really nice things about the clip-on configuration, though, is that it uses a Wilcox side flip mount. As a lot of folks who've used thermal know that you, know, you can't see through glass, it's gonna give you a mirror effect. So if uh, in a tactical application, if you come across a situation where you're using your thermal and then um, the, the target goes behind glass or something that uh, you, you just can't see through and, and the thermal's doing you no good, you can flip it to the side and now you've got your straight pass through for your day optic and flip it right back and you're using your thermal again. On this system here, on this weapon platform, you're gonna see that uh, we also have this pouch back here. This is a prototype pouch for our new DVR, mini DVR recording system. Uh, what a lot of guys like to do is go out for their hog hunts and record their, uh, their, their kills, just like with a GoPro, you know, it's the social media age. So this is a stock mounted pouch for 
our uh, new DVR that's going to be out in the next few months. Um, what we did here is we have a silent opening with a stiffener here so it, it stays nice and tight in there, but you just flip it open. You can see your screen, but we have it so that the screen is actually mounted upside down. So if you're here, you can just do one of these and actually read it right side up. You can access all your controls. You have the cable that's going to come out and go straight up to your thermal system. So we're going to be supplying cables, uh, DVRs, and the pouches. The last thing about the IR Patrol, going back to that, is that it's also going to be helmet mountable. So there's so many different configurations for it that with this, you can see that there's a Wilcox dovetail shoe that you'll be able to literally just clip it right onto a helmet and go hands-free. Now, that's not necessarily for walking around, but if you're in a hunting blind or you're in a surveillance position for a long time and you don't want to sit there holding this up for hours on end, you can literally just have it in a head mount and just sit back and view your, your scene, view uh, the, the target location. So stop by TNVC's booth 6502 at the SHOT Show and uh, take a look at this stuff for yourself. Thanks for watching.